cheaper than Winnipeg. A long-running military operation is in full swing along the Beaufort Sea in the Northwest Territories. Our reporter Charlotte Moore Jacobs brings us all the action in the sky, under the water, and on the land. This cold weather operator's course is the first of its kind in the Arctic for regular and reserve force members, many of whom work, train and operate nowhere near here. Okay, left over right, right over left. And they're learning from the best. Sling over. CWO Joel Pedersen is the only First Nations chief warrant officer in the entire Canadian Armed Forces. Kind of when you get to, to my rank, you don't get the opportunity to do this to share uh, with young soldiers. Where they're going to be operating is where we were last night, sleeping outside in the minus 40 with wind chill, and they may have to get up, put on their snowshoes, and be prepared to do their job, which is being out on the land. More than 200 Canadian Armed Forces personnel are in the small Inuvialuit communities of Tuktaaktuk and Inuvik. Good evening, sir. Captain Fisher. Participating in Operation Nanuk Nunalavut. For two weeks, CAF will conduct activities such as long-range patrols and complex logistical supports to demonstrate their ability to sustain forces in the Arctic. They'll work with armed forces from the U.S., the U.K., and even divers from France. At the commander's update brief, we meet important figures, like the Padre. I've been going around since we came. Uh, trying to see where they are. And Captain Augustine Esnerick, a spiritual wrong, advisor who looks after the group's training. emotional Sometimes and mental well-being. If somebody needs an urgent attention, then I have, I go direct to the CO, to the commanding officer, and say, hey, we have to pay attention to this soldier. The Padre has lived and worked in Saugeen First Nation for 15 years. That gave me an opportunity to educate people who haven't been you know, in the community. And it's very unfortunate that so many people, they only see the town, they don't see the people and who they are. They are people with wonderful, you know, open hearts, you know, so welcoming, so generous and down to it. So for Ranger 1, uh, they've, had a, they've had a pretty hard time going up. They're facing some pretty nasty weather right now. The success of the operation is also reliant on joint patrols with the Canadian Rangers. And they've learned the skills and the knowledge that's been passed on the same way it has been passed on through Indigenous culture and land and that aspect. So again, if we look through history, the Indigenous peoples have always helped out our military and they continue, continue to do so. Pedersen, a member of Fond du Lac Dene First Nation and Miccosu Cree First Nation, says he's also learning from locals. Uh, we're going to be going out for a, a night move, so we're going to pack up our tent and they're going to put their snowshoes on and their rucksacks and we're going to go for about a 10k uh, walk and then we're going to set up a tent. We've already talked to the ranger, we've asked him, what do you think the best place is? Operation Nanook wraps up February 28th. Charlotte Moore Jacobs, APTN National News, Tuk Tuk Tuk.